Welcome to Venlo. We are almost in Germany, only four kilometers away from Germany. We're gonna see the city centrum, which was awarded as the most beautiful city centrum of the Netherlands in 2013. And we will see the riverside, Maas River. It's the same river with Rotterdam. From Amsterdam, it takes two hours to arrive here. The oldest building in Venlo is the city hall. We will see soon. Anyway, this is the alley where Napoleon Bonaparte walked through. So this cafe is called also Bonaparte, Grand Cafe Napoleon Bonaparte, because the city was under control of France and Spain in the past. In this corner, there's a secret church. It's a Jongrenkerk, fair trade church, and also the Green Church, environment friendly church. The late Gothic church from 1617. 17th century church, but still is called Younger Church. That tower is belong to the Martini Church, 68 meters high. Just at the other side of the church, there's another beautiful building, I don't know what it is. This is the entrance of the church, so it's called San Martinius Basilica Fenlo. Welcome from our heart. Follow my travels watchers. Also in 2003, it's chosen as the most green city of Netherlands. In the Second World War, almost all historical buildings were destroyed by Germans or Allied uh, raids. They rebuilt everything. This way goes to the local market, as I see. I asked to the waiters also, what is the closing time for the local market? She said, closing time is on, on Saturday is 8 o'clock, on Sunday 9 o'clock, Sunday. I'm not sure if it's correct. Normally local marks are closed around 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, something. She said it's open until 9 o'clock. I was surprised if it's correct. Yes, she was wrong. They are already closing the local market. It's too late. It's almost 4 o'clock and they are already closing. We need to see the oldest building in the town. It's the former city hall from 14th century. Just uh, 20 meters from here, that side. We will see the Mass River, but uh, before that, let me show you the city hall area, former city hall, this one. It's used for many different purposes till today. It's packed. Half of the square is empty. I'm going to check that area. 15th century town hall. This is Mass Port. It's also one of the tourist attractions, a famous building. One of the biggest prime markets also here, that one, in the corner of uh, the Mars port. Oh, look at that. A dark attack to Germany. They are on the way. There is a big bridge over there. I think it's the one, the oldest one. During the Second World War, Allied forces tried to destroy that bridge. They tried to destroy it 13 times. Because of that, about 1,000 people died. But they couldn't destroy that bridge until the end of the war. Allied forces liberated Fenlo, this town, from the German side. So, because German forces destroyed the bridges when they understood that they will lose everything, so they destroyed the bridge themselves. Because of that, Allied forces went through the other bridge and they came to Fenlo from German side. This is another famous uh, sculpture. It says about the boundaries. The meaning of the sculpture is, according to the artist, you have to say no if someone tries to exceed your boundaries, you have to say no. In the famous big float in the Netherlands, in Limburg area, until the knee cap, there was water. This is Mouse River, derived from France. It flows through many Dutch cities. The biggest one is Rotterdam. This little cute red brick building is called Roman House. It's from 15th century. It's the second oldest building in Fenlo. Nowadays it's a coffee place. Oh, by the way, that statue we saw just five minutes ago is called Peaceful Warrior. Hello. Hello. Can I get a double espresso? Double, double espresso. Double espresso to go? To go. They have medals here. <laughs> Prost as a starter. Thank you. Thank you. There it is. The hard on hard. the back side you can see how the mechanism works. 
to avoid the crowd, Napoleon Bonaparte right through this little alley and that one. Because of that, it's called Emperor Street, Kaiser Street. Okay. Look at that. It's very special. This is a symbol of uh, Van der Kaiser, from the Kaiser Emperor. According to the story, Napoleon Bonaparte's horse changed the shoes here.